Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a floating header for your Squarespace website. We're going to use custom CSS to pull the logo and the navigation so it rests on top of the page content and we'll create a frosted glass effect so it appears to hover over anything underneath it. This also works on mobile devices. Now, as always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but there are a few parts of this code that you'll need to change to make it uniquely yours. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and I'll teach you how to set this up step by super simple step. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace. We're going to add this code to our custom CSS file. So you need to select website and then website tools. Here you'll find custom CSS. I'm going to paste the first code underneath the video. And what this does is add a margin to the header you'll notice it pulls it from the edges of the page. So now it's floating over the page content. You can see I can scroll a little bit and those pumpkins are moving behind the header. This also works for the mobile version of your website. You'll see the same effect there, but I've got a little bit more to teach you. We can just leave it as is and it looks awesome, but we have a few more codes like curving in the corners with a border radius. Let's go ahead and say 15 PX. Notice how the corners of the header are curved just a little bit. Awesome, we can do that even more, maybe 30 PX, so it's a little more dramatic. Also, this will change the mobile version, as we can see here. Now, going back to desktop, there's one more code underneath this video, and this code does one of my favorite style tricks. It creates a frosted glass effect, so we're actually going to see the image behind this floating header. And notice, again, this still works on mobile. Pretty awesome, isn't it? This entire code is listed underneath the description below, but before you add this to your own site, let me just show you an example of what happens when we change each one of these values. If you want it to be closer to the edges, change that margin to maybe one view width. If you want it to be farther away, try something like three or even four. Don't get too wild with that because it is going to affect the mobile version as well. So I recommend something four or smaller. After that, we had border radius that curves those corners. Again, if we change this value to make it smaller, it'll be a slightly smaller curve, super customizable there. This line you should leave alone, background inherit important. That's what helps create this frosted glass effect. This background color is creating that frosted white effect. We can adjust these numbers instead of 255, change them all to zero, and it'll be the exact same effect just in the darker color. I liked using the lighter color because my site title and my navigation links will be that darker color on top of it, and I think it looks better. Last but not least, we have the backdrop filter. I set the blur to five pixels because I wanted to still see those pumpkins behind there. But if we change it to maybe 15, you'll notice it gets even blurrier. And if you leave it at one, it will be barely blurry at all. Again, all these codes are listed in the description below. And after you customize it, select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. Underneath this video, you'll find all the codes that we just used to make this magic happen in Squarespace. Just make sure that you adjust the important parts for your own code, like the margin and the border radius. You'll also find links to related content in the description below, including a link to join my email list. If you're not on there yet, head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash email to sign up. I'll send you exclusive resources and tutorial content every single week, and I know you're going to love it. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash email. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give me a like and let me know in the comments. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, then you are going to love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I've created a Notion database to hold all of the selectors for everything I want to modify on a Squarespace website. I've packed it with pro tips and custom code snippets that you can use to make your Squarespace website uniquely yours. Get access to this game-changing database at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.